Okay, now Samsung DeX is an incredible feature offered by Samsung on some of its flagship Galaxy phones, which converts the Android operating system or One UI into a desktop-like experience on the monitor. We have already seen a bunch of videos about Samsung DeX on the channel. And in this video, I wanted to share some tips for you guys, or let's say some important information for you guys, which may help you if you are new to Samsung DeX. So let's go ahead. The first question a lot of you guys have been asking me is, what is the maximum resolution a DeX can run on a monitor. This of course depends on the monitor that you're using and the kind of cable that you're using. You need a HDMI cable or a USB Type-C cable which supports at least HD plus resolution. And DeX can support up to 4K resolution on a monitor. The minimum resolution supported is HD plus, which is 1600 by 900, Full HD 1920 by 1080, WQHD 2560 by 1440, and Ultra HD 4K 3840 by 2160. All these resolutions can run on 16 by 9 aspect ratio. DEX can also run on 16 by 10 aspect ratio and 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Now these options will not appear by default. So that's something which you need to note here. By default, when you connect a cable to the monitor, you will be able to see a maximum resolution of full HD 1920 by 1080. To use it in WQHD or UHD or any other aspect ratios or resolutions, you need to first install Multistar, which is a plugin on GoodLock application. As you can see on GoodLock, I've got Multistar here. Let me tap on this. The first option you see is I love Samsung DeX. I will open this. Now you see a toggle here, high resolution for external display. Just enable this, you will be able to see all these options when you go to the display resolution settings under Samsung DeX settings. Apart from that, on this plugin, we also have a few more options like run many applications at the same time. Uh, this will allow more than five applications to be shown on connected display. Then we have auto open last app toggle and set taskbar and header bar display delay. These are some additional options we get on this particular plugin. So to use DeX at the highest resolution possible depending on your display, you need to enable this on GoodLock. Now the next tip is about Flow Pointer. Let's go to Settings. Let's tap on Samsung DeX. Now here, double click and open Mouse and Trackpad. On the top, you see this toggle, Flow Pointer to Phone Screen. Set the pointer to flow from the monitor to the phone screen. I'll just enable this and I'll just open this option here. As you can see, we have got a couple of options here. Pointer flows from the left side of the monitor to the right side of the phone. The options are from right side of the monitor, from left side of the monitor, or from bottom of the monitor. Depending on where you have placed your phone, you can select this option to move the pointer onto the phone. As you can see, I have kept the phone on the right hand side and I've selected from right side of the monitor and I'm able to use the mouse or the mouse pointer on the phone as well. That's an amazing feature we have. Next, using Yes Pen as touchpad. Let's go to Samsung DeX settings again. Here we have got an option called Yes Pen Input Mode. Let me open this. Here you see we have got two options. One is Pen Mode, hover the Yes Pen above the screen to move the pointer. Second one is Mouse Mode, drag the Yes Pen across the screen to move the pointer. Now, depending on your preference, you can select this. You can use the ES Pen to move the pointer on the monitor. Next one is locking Samsung DeX. How do we lock the phone or the monitor? If we press the lock button on the phone, it does not get locked. So to lock DeX, all you need to do is click on apps tray. And here at the bottom left corner, you will see an option lock DeX. When you click on this, the phone gets locked and it locks Samsung DeX on the monitor. You can just use your passcode or fingerprint to open DeX again. Next feature I wanna talk about is multi-window. On One UI 5.1, we can use multiple applications in different windows. And we can also resize these windows. As you can see, I have dragged an application towards the right. It opens up on the right-hand side of the screen. Now I can open another app and drag it towards the left extreme end to open it in the left half of the screen. We can increase or decrease the size of these windows and we can also open more applications in four different windows. Next tip is about pinning a particular window. As you can see, I've got an application open here. On the top, we've got these options here. You can see this pin icon. It says pin window to top. If I select this, this particular application will be open right there on the desktop and I can open any app I want. This window is not gonna move from here. It is completely locked 
on the desktop that is pin windows now right next to this we also have an option opacity now if i click on this i can increase or decrease the transparency or opacity of this particular window so that i can see what is there in the background not sure whether this is going to help you but yeah this feature is available on samsung dex now the next one let's go to settings again let's go to samsung dex let's open mouse and trackpad here we have got an option more settings let me open this in this section, we will be able to customize the pointer speed, wheel scrolling speed, and also enhance the pointer precision. So you need to enable this toggle to enhance the pointer precision, and you can change the pointer size and color. So here again, a lot of customization options Samsung has provided, which they are known for. Now the next step is screenshot capture. At the bottom, you will see screen capture option here. You have got this icon on the taskbar. You can just click on this to take screen captures on Samsung Dex, which is just perfect. Now let's take a look at the last important tip which I would like to share with you guys. Now at the bottom of the Samsung Dex settings, I have got an option how to use Samsung Dex. I'll open this. Now here we have got an option called use keyboard shortcuts. I'll double click on this. You will see this page and at the bottom we have got keyboard shortcuts. I'll tap on this. Now you can see we have got plenty of shortcut options which are displayed here. Just in case if you want to be more efficient and if you love using your system with shortcuts, you can memorize all these shortcuts to use Samsung Dex more effectively. These are some useful tips or information I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know if you have any additional tips you would like to share in the comment section which could help the community. Now if you find this video useful, hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel to become a part of Apex community to know your phone better. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.